Hi, I'm Ashley, Senior Clinical Advisor at Care Patron, and I'm here to help guide you through the RAS assessment. So what is a RAS assessment? The Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale, or the RAS, is used to assess hospitalised patients who have critical illnesses or injuries, but mostly it is used for assessing sedation status levels. The scale assesses patients in terms of how agitated or sedated they are while undergoing treatment in an emergency room or intensive care unit. It takes into account factors such as the patient being anxious, how aggressive they are and whether they fight off healthcare professionals trying to put ventilators on them, if there is eye movement during treatment, their verbal responsiveness as well as their motor responsiveness. The RAS scale is scored between negative 5 to positive 4. The negative values are for measuring sedation, while the positive values are for rating agitation. What healthcare professionals need to aim for when using the scale is to get to the point where the patient will score between negative 2 to positive 1, which means they are properly sedated, though this will depend on the sedation protocols for the kind of illness or injury they're treating. There are a variety of healthcare professionals who can use this, including critical, intensive or emergency care doctors and nurses, respiratory therapists and many more. Here's how to use the RAS assessment effectively. The first step is to fill in essential patient information. The second step is to read the procedure and then tick the relevant scores while monitoring the patient. The final step is to write any additional notes if needed. To view a sample assessment of the RAS, feel free to visit carepatron.com where you can access and download it for free. You can also download the test through our platform you can filter by community and by assessment, or also type in the keywords. You can edit however you wish. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Care Patron to view more healthcare videos in the future.